honest Y'all ain't even on my fucking level, to be honest Some of y'all dancing with the devil, to be honest Y'all ain't even supposed to be here But since we all here, let me tell you what's real, to be honest Y'all ain't even Ladies and gentlemen It is your boy, Stefan A.K.A. Sneaky G, bud I'm hanging out with my main man, my partner in crime, Clary, the OG. Got the what cowboy up? hippie in the backstage. And yes, we got a special guest. Uh, I don't know about you guys, uh, but I have not slept since yesterday. I'm yeah, gonna you- say I, I have not. I think I've had like five minutes of sleep. I mean, you, maybe you, maybe less than that. You did bother me a couple of times throughout the day texting me, so I, I get it. Well, I want to thank you for saying a couple. <laughs> And, and um, I'm going to I'm going to tell you all right now, uh, tonight, I'm excited and I am not. I am not going to waste this man's time. Any longer. OK, I'm lying because I'm trying to get my Facebook up, too. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Clary, I'm, I'm going to induce I'm, I'm going to introduce him. See, look, I can't even talk right now. Ladies and gentlemen. We have with us today, Blessing Truce, the man, the myth, the legend, who I inspired to be when I grew up, none other than LPG, ladies and gentlemen, license plate well, guy. Hey, hey, guys, thank you very much. I got to take off, so it was a good show. <laughs> Hell yeah! Now. That is what I'm talking about, man. You know what? I will take what I could get. I'm like, you're LPG. You're right. It's been real. I, and I, then, I, uh, I appreciate the uh, the introduction. That's uh, it's very kind to you guys, honestly. And uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know about the uh, the growing up part, making me feel like I'm freaking <laughs> seventy years old. But uh, uh, well, well, I'm glad I'm glad you brought that up. I got a question. Mm-hmm. If if I may, if I'm if I get too personal. Uh, LPG, you know you could tell me to pound sand. True or false? You are. I've seen, I've seen four. I've I've seen. I've been to five Super Bowls. I've seen four. That's all you're gonna get out of me. <laughs> well, uh, are are you? May I bring? You I, I'm eight? sorry. I only care about four. Right, so. and that's how we. That's how we. Yeah, yeah. We don't want right. to talk about. Yeah, no, we don't want to talk about that. No, one. I don't even remember that one. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, no, go ahead. What were you saying? Sorry. You're no, you're fine. You're. Uh, I, I want to bring in your age. Because I don't, I don't believe it. I, I might need to see some idea. Are you fifty-one years old? No, that's see lies, Lot Li- lies. <laughs> Wikipedia, Wikipedia lies all the time, sneaky. Don't I you know, know that? Wikipedia. Well, they, also, <laughs> they also got me a four foot eight. I, I saw that. Man, I'm gonna ask you about that. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't, don't know. know. Hey, real, real, real talk about the about the uh, the height thing, which is funny because because I get asked that more than my age. Which is hysterical because if you really think about it, most of the time I'm taking a picture with a football player, right? Right, right. Okay. So none of my pictures, I mean, I literally look four foot tall. Yeah. Okay. So so it's really funny. I mean, I'm I'm only five nine, but the the point is, don't make me out to be four seven, which I think is hilarious. And and well, you know, I'll, I'll I'm sorry to clear when I when we met last year, when I saw you last year. Uh, I'm 5'10", and I will say it was an honor to the fact that you were looking up to me. <laughs> it was an honor. Go yeah. ahead, Clary. I'm sorry. No, I was just judging him by license plates that fit on his chest. Yeah, yeah, I get so that. I I get that too. So I went and tried to do it myself, and I go, okay, we're about the same height. It is bullshit. So yeah. I, I did off the, I did the license plate uh, size test. That's what I did, man. That's funny. I get. I definitely <laughs> get that too, but that's why I kind of like when people say that because most of the time if I take a picture with the plates – I'm literally hanging them over, over the front row. So at least I get at least four or five more plates that I'll <laughs> It makes me look bigger. <laughs> there you go. So I got, I got, uh, obviously I'm in about 150 New York Giants groups on Facebook. <laughs> and I have uh, Tony Little all the way out in, in, in Britain. I hope I'm not saying that wrong, no. uh, Tony. Uh, but he says, creme eggs are the secret to his youth and luscious hair. Right, so, that's what Tony so, so Tony Tony's a, Tony's a real good dude. Tony is uh, is uh, uh, not only a funny dude, um, but he burst onto the to the I guess the giant scene 
um, a couple of years now and die hard as they come uh, mm -hmm. with his family. He's got two kids. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he, he one of his daughters is, uh, you know, has a giant's name. Uh, I'm sure he'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. If he wants to divulge that, I'm not talking about anybody else's family. Right, but right. Um, he's uh, he's a good dude and he's right. Uh, however, <laughs> It's Cadbury cream eggs. Get oh, it right. Oh my God. God. That's right. So if you're going to get my favorite shit right, get it right. <laughs> and and it's not only that. Uh, I'll, I'll say that I know your love for uh, Cadbury cream eggs, which I'm letting you know, I have a, a big stockyard of it just for you, waiting for you. I, I uh, lies. It, that's that's actually true. It is a lie. Yeah, um, I know. But I, I I know that your your hatred for the dentist is true, though. Yeah, okay? that's that's a hundred percent true. <laughs> and he's actually a friend of mine. So so it's funny because he'll hit me up and he'll be like, "Dude, are you really eating that again?" And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like "Stop following me, bro!" Like, I'm I'm gonna you won't be my dentist anymore. Stop following me. So. Yeah, I am a I'm a big I'm a big sweets guy and Cadbury cream eggs. I have it down pat. I do two at a time. They go in the microwave for nine seconds, ten seconds they crack, and then they they they're nice, they're warm, and they're unbelievable. And I don't just take a bite; I eat the whole thing. So I also want to jump on something that I saw on Wikipedia that which I think is freaking phenomenal. <laughs> You've been at to every home game since 03, 2003. Is that true? No, that I, I don't no, realize they're coming now. So, uh, so I it's it, it's been on there for a while. The O three thing. Um, let me clarify home and away. So home okay. games. I don't think I've missed a home game in like forty years. Holy God. Um, but this would have been my twentieth year. Which you know what? Let, I got to clarify that as well. This there's no streak ending. Not that I care. I mean, I guess I care a little bit. I guess I care a little bit. Um, there's no streak ending. There's no fans. So there can't be a streak. Um, right. But, but the Wikipedia is wrong because it's it's every game home and away since 2000. Because in 2000, which is the year I don't really speak about, <laughs> I, it's true. I, I don't because I decided a couple of years before that in the 90s, I was going to – I don't know, a couple of away games here and there, and then maybe even like five or six games. And then in 2000, I decided to go to all the games. And they made it all the way to the Super Bowl. Like the year that I want to go yeah. to every game, they made it to the to the Super Bowl. Right. And, uh, you know, they obviously lost the game, and I, and I turned around. It was my brother-in-law at the time. And I turned around to him and I said, listen, I'm not making, I'm not missing another game until they win this thing. So that's really what started it. And then 2001, 2002, 2003, four, five, and all the way up to like the Super Bowl year. Then that year, I decide that I'm going to sit front row to all the games. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to afford it. I don't know how, I'm just, all I know is I'm going to do it. And that's the year I became extremely friendly with Jacobs and Bradshaw and Ware mm -hmm. and Blackbird. I mean, all these giants because I'm literally sitting right behind them. Right. Yep. And 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 you know, I just posted you know yesterday or the day before the Brandon Jacobs, you know, which I think is hilarious because he really did say that he really saw me at a hotel and he's like, "Hey, you," and I'm like, "Me?" He's like, "Yeah, you." You know, who the fuck are you? You know, and then <laughs> and, 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 and that's how. That's literally how our friendship began. And then look what happened. 2007, oh my God guy. Yeah. You know, Tyree makes the catch. I'm the oh my God guy. I was never license plate guy first. I was oh my God guy. And uh, and the, the rest is history. So there, yeah, this would have been my 20th year. And again, if the Giants are playing somewhere like they are in Dallas where you guys are or sneaky where you are, whatever, I'm going. Right. So if, if, if they're allowing fans, I'm going. It's just – I just won't be at the home games, I guess, for a while. Yeah, well, so it, it's a good thing that you brought up the streak. Uh, the streak. Uh, to be honest, it would bother me um, if I you mean, know if if there's. But I will say this though: there, you do have an alibi. It is not your fault for you not attending the game. Right. So, so, so let me ask you: everybody else in this freaking world gets an asterisk. <laughs> throw one my way. Right. 
Right? That's right. That's right. Absolutely right. Uh, oh, and just so you know, um, uh, Tony did respond back. He said, uh, both of them, he said his uh, his children's are named Brooke uh, Beckham, uh, Beckham and then Beckham. Sophie Strahan. Beckham. 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 I said Beckham. Beckham, my bad. And then uh, he Sophie he don't Strahan. Watch soccer. He don't watch soccer, Beckham. apparently. Yeah, yeah, soccer. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Now I, I watch him. And, and and what's his what's his other daughter's name? Uh, Sophie Strahan. That's right. I like so that. I mean, I mean, look, oh. that's a that's a diehard. You know, that's a diehard to me. Um, you know, you have to. <laughs> you know, you're naming shoot naming your pet after a giant yeah. is, is is something. Naming your kid. Uh, so, you know, yeah, maybe he's got to screw loose, but we all do. So I'm cool with that. Yeah, I we have a a a, a shit poo. It's a Shih Tzu poodle mix. Uh, I just like saying the word shit poo. Uh, the, the, we named we named her or him uh, Blue for uh, right. the giant. So yeah, that's, that's uh, good. You couldn't I'm, throw you couldn't throw big in there. You couldn't throw big blue in there. You just well, I, you know, I tried to actually. I did try to, but they're like, blue. no, we're just we're just gonna call him Blue. That is okay. basic. I'm like, I'm like, okay. Well, right. I was. I was voted off the island. Um, I do want to ask you something. Was put out, I guess. Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, somebody had to go, and I was that one. Uh, yeah. Clary, I don't want. I, you know, I could. You know, I could talk to LPG all day. You Ooh, hold on, hold on. Look, uh, look at my. Oh, look at my. Look at how, look how buff he got over over this. We changed places, man. Now he's look at him. <laughs> I mean, I got a pen, but look at that. You got to take a picture of that, man. That's a good picture right there. Are, are you flexing? I just, I don't know if you're flexing or constipated, but I'm going to take yeah, flexing. It's gritting my teeth, you know. Well, look, okay. look. <laughs> I, 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 I want to ask him a question that's probably been asked 470,000 times. Um, obviously, I need to know the, the, the craziest stadium, not the best as far as fans go. Crazy, like wild, insane. Fan wise, I mean, look, it's you know, it's it's boring that I keep saying it, but there's really no nothing crazier than Philly, and that's from, but but that's soup to nuts, bro. That's you know, I say this all the time, and I'm I'm sure people listening are gonna be like, oh, I heard this guy say this a million times, but if you if if you come into the stadium as a visiting fan and your team loses, they're gonna come at you, right. If you come in, if you come into the to the visiting stadium and your team wins, they're gonna come at you harder. Yeah. Oh, that's no matter no matter what you do, you're 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 in trouble in Philly. Now, I never, I rarely had a problem in Philly only because of where I sit. And people don't really people don't realize that they're always reaching out to me like, you know, be careful when you're in Philly, and you know, don't get batteries thrown at you, and don't get sucker punched, don't do this, don't do that. There's two things I always say. Right. One, I'm not really a dick, pardon my language. So, right. so, you know, it, the greatest thing about sitting front row is that if I don't want to answer anybody back, I don't have to. Right. So you could have the most annoying person in the world. You can have someone like a sneaky D man behind you. <laughs> and if I never want to <laughs> turn around, how, how frustrating must that be for that hater behind me? That so wants my attention and I just won't give it to him. And two, what I always say to people is what can possibly happen? Yeah, I could get sucker punched and I get this. And I, I took a lot of threats when I used to wear the, the zero Super Bowl jersey in, in Philly. But I have the team, security, police, guards, everything five feet from me on the field. So if you really think about it, I'm not up in the upper deck where I'm getting pummeled and it takes 25 minutes for someone to get to me. So, so let me, let me, let me extend that. So <clears throat> that means you're not really too, doing too much drinking though. Cause when I go to <laughs> games and I have to piss and I got to walk through the, you know, back up and, and you're at a visiting stadium, that's where you take a lot of shit, man. Right, yeah. You got to walk up the, the stairs. So, so two, uh, that's another two things that that's an LPG rule. Right. Um, if I'm drinking at all, and I'm not a huge drinker, but if I'm drinking, I'm drinking in the lot. Right. Yeah, right and if yeah. I'm, if I'm whoever I'm going to a game with, it's almost like I'm a father figure. Like, all right, right. we're ready to enter the stadium. 
Go take your piss. Go eat whatever you got to eat. Because when I sit down, you're not freaking moving. Right. Right. I don't care if it's first quarter, halftime, your ass ain't moving. And if you rock with me to a game, you want to go? Go. I'm not moving. I don't care where you're going. And yes, a lot of shit happens when you get up and leave. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've, I witnessed at, a, at the old Cowboy Stadium in Irving, I witnessed uh, an Eagles fan uh, I, getting bombarded, man. And and I intervened. I, I I helped helped him. I was like, guys, this shit ain't needed, man. And that was he was at the very bottom as well. And I was about probably ten rows behind him, and I got in between, man. But but he was taking a beating, man. That that kind of shit somehow needs to be taken out of. Uh, no, of, I mean, uh, look, look, with with. It's fun if, if unless it, it unless it leads to beatings. Don't get me wrong. You know, you just said something really funny, and I haven't told this story in a long time. But I've only been in a few altercations. Uh, <laughs> oh, I was about to ask you about that. Yeah, I've been in I've been in my share of um, of fights, uh, more younger than than right. than older and smarter. But there's one time at Giant Stadium, it was a Cowboy fan. I mean, really being a – he was out of line, right? And this right. is the old stadium. This is going back years. And he, like, messed with an old guy in our in our section, and a Giant fan wasn't having it. I mean, he just wasn't having it. And went after the Cowboy fan. And I did what you did, okay? I, I, I jumped in the middle, and you could tell the Dallas Cowboy fan was drunk. And there's a picture. I don't know where it is. Sneaky G man, find it somewhere. It's 20 okay. years old. It's 20, 25 something years old. And there's me. Like the, the Giants guy is is going to crush him. And I have the cowboy guy like in a reverse full Nelson just just so he won't get hit. But the picture looks <laughs> awesome. It's awesome because it looks like I'm destroying this dude. And I want to put it on my wall. I just can't find it. Hey, 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 I got I got one more thing because I'm a gambling man, okay? So so let me ask you this. I'm gonna put LPG's over under to nine and a half altercations he's gotten into <laughs> at football games. Nine and a half over under. I no, say no, over. Okay. Under. Oh, wait, wait. I oh, say over. see, see, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Nine nine and a half, nine and a half physical or um, altercation. A push, at least a shove of some sort, at least some kind of shove. And you, you gotta know? give me you gotta give me a chance to answer. Nine All and right, a half. Go, go ahead, Sneaky. Nine, Nine and, and a half, half and, it's, I, and it's some I, kind of touching. Yes, it had to be I, some kind of a hand a hand saying, get away from me, or, or you had to use your hand to push them away. Nine and a half, over under, Sneaky. You know, uh, I got the over, by the way. No, I'm, I got to go the under, because LPG, I mean, I, I, we've only met a few times, but I mean, we've spoken a lot, and he don't, he, I don't, I mean, I can see people getting in his face. <laughs> But I don't see him being that way, and and so I, I'm going to say under. Okay. And I and I'm not trying to you know kiss your butt or anything. I'm just being honest. I just don't see it, see that in you, you know. And plus, and let me back up too, <laughs> not because, and I'm going to say this why because the oh, fact man. that he knows oh, so many people that he, especially now <laughs> with social media being a a, a thing, that okay. he'll be on on video. You know, so I'm, okay, I'm, I'm taking on. under. Hold I'm on. Under. Let me tell you, though. Let me tell you, though, guys. Okay. How many games has he been to? You got to put that into calculation as well, man. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. So let's, I, I got to know. So I got the over. What, what, what is it? Man, that's a, that's, that's a, such a complex question. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to beat around the bush because, because Sneaky kind of nailed something like something good. I can't get away with anything. Right. I can't even, I can't even have a post now about a tailgate without the NFL following me and, 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 you know, shutting me down. So, so if I raise my hand at all, I'm, I'm a wanted man. And you know, when you're in the public eye and I got to tell you, I'm not going to lie one bit. Fireman Ed told me 15 years ago, he's like, people are going to take shots at you left and right. He ain't lying. And the hate is so much more compound than the love even though the love is more i get much more love than i get hate but i get hate so to answer your question (laughs) you should have done it by 
by by decades. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, because, Clary, you are 100% right it's over. But Sneaky, no, but Sneaky wins because, because I don't think I've gotten any kind of pushing or shoving or even someone putting their hand on my plate and that deserved a hand to them. And right. that, that puts us over right there. I got. You. I haven't done anything in years, so you're both right, and Sneaky's right because of the reasons. But Clary, it's way over. I got. You. Thanks for the answer, man. I appreciate it. I, I, I just, I, I figured only because I've gone to many games, not as many as you have, but I've gone to quite a few, and I, I'm more of a college guy, so I've been to most of a lot of the Big Ten stadiums. That's what, it's more wild at, at college than it is pro. Depending oh, on where you sit, you're absolutely yeah. right. Absolutely <laughs> right. Yeah. Those college fans, the, the Texas OU game down here, I'm you sure. will see ten to twenty fights going on in, oh, between, yeah. in between the quarters. It's 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 crazy. So yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. All right, I got to show some Facebook love real quick. Um, uh, LPG, I just want to bring up a gentleman by the name of Adam Valencia. Um, he said that uh, ask him about the head tattoo or a head tattoo. He has a sure. giant. I think he's got the huge NY. Is that what he's got? Or I think I think he has the Giants. Oh, well, the Giants! That's written yeah, across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. look, look. <laughs> I have I have tattoos. I have giant stuff on my body. I mean, for all you guys know, under this thing, you had no idea what I got. I could have a big old <laughs> giant thing under there too. Adam got nothing on me. I got I got New York Giants. Ford Super Bowl champion <laughs> all across, but you don't know because of the hair. So so Adam and I got the same tattoo. Okay, since you brought up tattoos, have you <laughs> have you seen mine? You know what? Is it is it someplace that that I could actually view it without throwing up? Yeah, yes, yes, actually, yes. Um, I might well, I might throw up though. Because the, the way you're, uh, the way you're, you're the way you're leaning forward <laughs> is already well, looking like a back a and, lower and, back tattoo. And I'm not. I don't want to see it. Hold on, LPG, Clary. You, know, you did not say. Doing, you did, once you start doing this, I don't. I'm Clary. I don't want to see it. Clary, what? you did not what? say that to me last night, so I don't want to hear about <laughs> throwing up on anything. No, no. Joe, me, it, it, it's an let, let me see it. Let me see it. All right. Yes. My apologies. I love that, and you did show it to me at Heart Eights. Oh, and I, I added this one on too. Yes, correct. I never saw that. I saw the yeah. ring. I saw those. See, yeah. That's, that's a, that's an awesome tattoo, and you know what? Keep working out because you're gonna need another ring right here. You're damn right. Yeah. You're damn right. Oh, man. Uh, speaking of hard eights, and yes, you. Speaking of hard eights, we're we're going right. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a given. Okay. I okay. only, Clary, more than welcome. I only Thank go you. for the one in um. I I say grapevine, but it's not grapevine. It's uh, right next to grapevine. It's in Flower Mound. Um, uh, Capel. Oh, no, it's Capel. The one in Capel. It's it's Capel. I always go. Anybody that's listening, I, I no matter what, I go Saturday night. I that's where I go eat. It's a it's a been there tradition for I can't tell you how many years, and and I'll I'll be there again. I'll be there, no doubt. Oh I'll yeah. There. Oh, and and speaking of that, going from from the old Dallas Stadium to the new one. Yep. What was? Please tell me what was that experience like. Eli taking the first taking the win yep. <clears throat> the, the on the on opening night. What and, was and, and, I mean, and, what was the atmosphere? I mean, did people I mean speaking of putting hands on you, did people give you any kind of grief? No, yeah, yeah. Of course, when you when you leave, you get it. But again, you're you're only gonna you're gonna get a lot of talk. You won't right. get more than that unless you're a jerk. And if you're a jerk, they're gonna be a jerk back. And if you're a jerk, they're gonna be more of a jerk back. Um that you have to understand, and I think I told you this in person, there is nothing sweeter than AT&T Stadium. I mean, it's just it's just the way it is. I mean, Did, maybe, wait, wait, wait. Say that one more time for Clary and and the Cowboys, I mean, it's, just so they hear you correctly. It's true. There's it's the greatest stadium in the NFL. Sorry, um, as I lead you to to drink. Uh <laughs> it it is. The only thing sweeter than that is obviously a Giants victory inside of it, but but the the stadium is the largest I've ever seen. You could almost pick up MetLife and put it inside of 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 that stadium. Um, people ask me all the time, "How do you find it watching a game?" 
you know, do you find yourself watching the screen? And what's funny is, <clears throat> depending on where you sit at AT and T, I don't watch a screen because I literally have to look up. I'm I'm here. Most people behind me are looking at this massive thirty to thirty yard line. This m just absolute massiveness. And you know, look. Did you know that ATT has seven levels? So yeah. they it's such a big stadium that they have Bud Light cheerleaders on, I think, the fourth or fifth level because the ones on the fifth, <clears> sixth, <throat> seventh can't even see the freaking Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders on the ground. So they need two sets. That's how big that stadium is. And, you know, when Jerry does something, he does it right. It's just a gorgeous place to go to see a game. So I will, I will say this. Um, I've been to three stadiums so far. Uh, uh, the CenturyLink, Mile High, and Dallas. And for me, yes, the, the AT&T Stadium is massive and it's gorgeous. But for me as, as a fan, and it's all subjective, like for me the best experience that I've seen so far was CenturyLink. Well, it's loud. Uh, I, mean, it's, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's loud. It's powerful. I mean, it's just it's really in your face. And the times I've been there, we were we went one and one. We won uh, the, the the first time in. I think it was in '09, and then in 2000, uh, I think it was 14 or 13. I think it was 2013. We were there. It was after Seahawks when they won the um, uh, uh, the Super Bowl. We were yeah. there. Yeah. Um, but let me. The the one disappointment I have as a fan is with those two stadiums, with CenturyLink and Mile High. Uh, before the game even starts, we could go down to the, you know, to like the front front row and get autographs for uh, for the fans. That's where my son and I, we met Steve Tisch, uh, David Tyree, um, even Gino S Smith. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't recall that person. I don't, yeah, I don't. I, I just said that because we did get his autograph and I want to get him. Oh, and Jesse Armstead met him. Phenomenal. Um, but um, for and I, maybe and, and I'm asking this for myself. So where would you recommend we would sit in the Dallas Stadium? Because we found out the hard way last year that there's certain ways because it was our first year last year going to the Dallas yeah, Stadium. Yeah, it, that's it. That's a real difficult. You have to sit near the tunnel. Okay. Yep, okay. Any tunnel where they come in. That's a, that's any stadium. Okay. Um, but Dallas is extremely hard, just like MetLife. You can't go behind the benches unless you're sitting there. So, gotcha. or, okay. or or you have a pregame pass. Now, you know those those don't come by, you know, very often. Um, but if you're if, if that's to anybody out there <clears throat> looking to score some autographs and stuff like that, my suggestion, if it's a home game. And, and remember, I'm a, I'm asking for a friend. Correct. Yeah, I'm sure you are. So if you if you're if you're talking about a home game, the when the Giants roll up hours early, they literally come over to the fans and they sign in the parking lot. Not to you. You go to their parking lot, and there's a fenced off area. And the Giants, a lot of players are extremely generous with their yeah. time. Yeah. Um, as far as game game time you definitely should be near a tunnel when they're going in and out during warm-ups other than that i would say you make your way towards the buses after the game and sometimes they come out to see family or friends that have come visit them to to the game and then they will sign for kids and obviously they're in a much better mood when they win when they lose not right. so much right you know, not so much uh um but uh that's for your friend, and I'll you know, let him know. Other than that, I mean, I can't see you being loud enough to call them over or anything. Not me. No, no. You know, I can't see that ever happening. So, so I mean, that's not how I got Steve Tish's autograph. I, no, I'm just I, you know, I, I bet you only had to say, "Hey, Mr. Tish," one time. Yeah, I didn't yeah, call him by his. I didn't, I, I didn't call him by his first name. Not at all. Of course not. I'm, no, I'm why sure. would I do that? That means no way. Disrespectful. So, so, I mean, look. Uh, you know, I will tell you that that people are, that are going to go to games this year and maybe even next year, good luck getting autographs because I think COVID shut that down too. Yeah. Right. I don't think anybody's coming over to anybody. 
Go ahead, so Ace. I got a question about autographs. Um, what did you think of last year of that Giants fan going up to Demarcus Lawrence after the game to try to get an autograph? Now, you can Camille. see it both in two different ways just because of he was a kid, but at the same time, like, don't make as big as a rival, <laughs> no, as big as a rival it. as it look, is, look, you, you look, shouldn't do it's that. A, it's a great, great question. So you do know that I took Camille and his father. Yep onto the to the field and they did whatever they did with Barkley and he was well taken care of. Yes sir. If you wanna if and you know what? They're great people. They're really, really good mm -hmm. people. But if you want my honest opinion, um I this is gonna sound kind of cheesy, but I'm old school. I would never ask an opposing fan, uh an opposing player for an autograph because I don't give a crap about you. Right. Um, so I didn't care about DeMarcus's response. Like, yeah, get away from me, kid. You're Barkley, you're Barkley and Giants out and you want my autograph. Like, get away. Now look, with social media, DeMarcus Lawrence is the devil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I loved it. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now on the flip side to Camille, the kid, kudos to him because honestly. Bitch, shout out Camille. In the, in the, he's a really good kid. In the, I guess in the world we live in now with, you know, Madden and, and, and fantasy football and this and that, those players mean a lot to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and they're not all giants. Hence the reason why I don't play fantasy football is because I would only pick giants. Like I'm, you know, I have diehard giant fans that are hitting me up like, yo, hope the Giants win, but Dak's got to throw four touchdowns. Like, yeah, dude, no, no, I, that doesn't, I'm sorry, that just doesn't fly in my book. Like, who are you? Like, don't text me that. Like, go text me tomorrow. I don't want to hear any of that. Yeah. I don't want you to be secretly, secretly fist pumping yourself when Dak throws a touchdown versus the Giants. Like, like, I'd rather you do something else to yourself and, and do that onto Dak, whatever. But, but. To be honest with you, uh, getting back to Camille, he he didn't do anything wrong. Because DeMarcus is a cowboy, I'm obviously going to say DeMarcus is 100% wrong and not signing it. Yep. And uh, and look what happened. Uh, Camille wound up, you know, meeting Barkley and getting this and getting that. And, and, and shout out, by the way, to Barkley's people. He has some really good handlers. And what I mean by that is it's impossible for a player of, of Barkley's stature to – to keep track of any kind of fandom, but he's got a group of friends around him from the great one to Nikki, to, to his handler cuz to Kim with the rock nation. I, he's got people around him. He's got a good, a bunch of good people. Uh, yeah. Camille, I uh, actually met him through social media. We talked immediately and they're, they're on Western, uh, Western side of Texas. Mm -hmm. Uh, we actually plan to meet up on on week five uh, during the actually the coming to the house and and LPG you know you're more than welcome to come over to the house Appreciate you still it. you still got to try the potato salad and gumbo we already had this conversation yes, we already had this conversation yeah. uh, but for me as a Giants fan it just added another niche to the belt as to why I hate the Dallas Cowboys. You know, I mean, and I, and people tell me, how bad do you hate the Cowboys? And I hope every Cowboy fan hears me now. You have well shit, and then you have the Dallas Cowboys. Boom! I said it. I said it. Put it on the calendar-ish. Clip it. Yes, it has been done. Hey, hey, let me let me let me tell y'all something, Giant fans. Okay, and don't be don't, I, be, I, don't say no. five, don't say five. No, I, I don't do that. I don't do that argument. I don't do the okay. argument at all. I really okay. want to ask this I'll question say because because as a Cowboy fan, <laughs> as a Cowboy <laughs> fan, I my biggest rivals with the Eagles, believe it or not. Do do you, Joe? Right. See, is there a certain rivalry be, that you hate more, or is it depending on how the season's going? Or do you just have – because my hatred is more for the Eagles. And I told Sneaky this, and he couldn't believe me. And I said, I, I don't like I, – I hate the Eagles more than the Giants, believe it or not. All right, all right. Let me ask you a question and be honest. Okay. How long has that been on your mind like that? Uh, probably since Michael Irvin. Okay. All right. That's fair oh. enough. And they're only okay. 
The only reason why I say that is because what have you done for me lately? It comes right. into play. So, so why is everybody right now on this on this podcast? Why do we not say the Redskins? You know because, exactly right. Wait, wait, wait. The no, I know. I, I, it, wait, yeah, I, know, Washington I know. football. Washington football. <laughs> I know. But why don't why don't we say the skins because they're relevant, right? Right. So, so the Giants, who've had a lot of difficulty recently, is starting to fall into that Washington football team kind of irrelevancy. Right. Mm. And when you're irrelevant, you're not hated as much because you're irrelevant. Now. That- that does have something to play with. You're right. You hit it. It, ha- right it has corner. to. It has yeah. to. And yeah. then, and then, if they're relevant, the media starts talking about the new head-to-head battle between the good Cowboys and the good Eagles. And then, hey, yeah, that's right. The two good teams. Yeah, we hate them. So it it is all about being relevant. So so given that, it bothers me because the Cowboys are really irrelevant. <laughs> and and I know I know I know you're gonna laugh at that, but but you've done shit in, in a long ass time. Ninety six so, since ninety six. So, but but being America's team and being the preseason Super Bowl champs every year for the last hundred years, <laughs> I hate the Cowboys more than I hate the Eagles. My however, man. however, man. since the Eagles won the bowl. I hate I hate them more than I did ten five years ago. Right, right. Well, so here, here's the deal. Here's the deal too. And, and Sneaky and me ha- had had this discussion as well about about hatreds for teams. Um, I I I, I do throw it back to that, but you know what? You put a lot of, to the, to the Michael Irvin game because I was an Irvin fan, man. I mean, he I just like the way he played the game, heart, desire. He was a leader. Sneaky, you know, don't don't say anything because we got LT. Don't say a word. Hey, hey, we've already had, we've already <laughs> had that discussion. We've already had that. So here's here's my deal too with that uh, LPG is is I am I'm not one of these diehard guys like Sneaky that say sixteen and zero every year. And Sneaky knows this. I yeah. I'm more real about it, man. And and I and I keep it real. But I do think this year the Cowboys win the East yeah. just because of the opposition and that that's, and I'm not talking 16 and 0 I'm talking maybe a 10 and six, 11 and five type of, of, of yeah. division win. That's I, what I'm, I, uh, you're, I'm sorry for interrupting you. You're, oh, you're, you're not good. wrong. I, you know, I'm, I read up on obviously all the teams in the East uh, Dallas Cowboys have put together another freaking ridiculous roster. Um, Dak is playing, is going to play out of his mind. He's got a set of receivers that are going to be ridiculous um, I really believe they can only beat themselves. I agree with you. Uh, I am not a realistic uh, a person, and I and I mean that without laughing. Um, I'm a 16 and 0 Giants pick every year. Uh, if I if I if I bring myself into any kind of uh, any kind into this world, I'll say 10 wins. I'm going double digit wins. Right. I believe right. double digit wins. Right. Win the East this year, right? Um, uh, so again, you know, your fandom for your team and 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 my fandom and our fandom, I should say, for the Giants, you know, it, it that's what fandom is all about. You, right. you know, I am a I I get a lot of hate on social media because I'm not really in this world. I'm in the un- different universe, and I'm a big time homer. Go ahead, Sneaky. No, that's exactly yeah. what I was going to say. Right. I, was I gonna, mean, uh, uh, yeah. And I'm and I'm okay yeah. with that. Look, and yeah. everybody's like, "Oh, LPG, you got to be realistic." No, actually, I don't. <laughs> you said the same realistic. thing I do. Nor nor do I care <laughs> right. to be realistic. Why? Cuz cuz right. you told me I have to be realistic. Like, no. I'm I'm sorry that that okay. What's the difference in June, July, and August, that Sneaky and I say, Giants going 16-0. and And then we have a bunch of fights, and then we get talked into, into it with 10-6, and six, even okay. though that might not be the case, right? 10-6. and six. Right, right. Okay. What happens when these other two guys, and you could do it for the Cowboys too, what happens when these other two Giant fans, big Giant fans, say, ah, oh, 
You're ridiculous. They're seven and nine. They're six and ten tops. When September and 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 October come around and the Giants are Owen oh, whatever, like right, you know, or win five like they have been, like like a really crappy record. What do you what do you really care that those two can come out and say, I told you? Is that if because if that's what you want at the end of the day, then I don't give a shit about your right. fan for our team. Right. Right, right. right. What's the difference in we're both losing out in the end? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You just want to. You just want to be right. You know what? You're you right. Can be right. You're right. You can yeah. Be right. Yeah. You, so, you guys, three and thirteen. So, so for me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Clear hey, up. hey, Go I'm hell. just it out there, man. I'm just. So I hey, gotta. I'm gonna say this. Hey, hold on. And two of them are going to be against the Washington football team. <laughs> I don't know. They got Chase, Chase Young is going to be. Uh, I don't, he's a bust, by the oh. way. I'm saying that right now. Bust. What? I hope he really? is. Really? I hope he oh, is. I, oh, hope God, I want him so bad, bro. I want him so bad. But now uh, I know. Okay. 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 Now I know why. Now I know why. Okay. So He's a beast, man. He's a beast. Uh, I know. I, he's kind. So I will say this. <laughs> I get. I also. I too. Uh, LPG. I get. A, I get a lot of hate as well because when people and I get it on TikTok a lot. Well, they say, "What's your predictions for the Giants?" And I'm going to tell you, sixteen and zero. And the reason being is, why am I going to sit here and predict my team to lose a game? I can't. I just can't do that. I mean. I mean. I mean. I mean. Sneaky. I. I it's. Very- it's. It's going gonna, gonna to happen. But I mean, like. Yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to say we're going to make the playoffs until we're eliminated. And when we make the playoffs, I'm going to say we're going to go to the Super Bowl until I've we're been, eliminated. I mean, I've been extremely. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, it is. I love there? it. I have, to, I have to put on my 16 and 0 hat. For a okay. Second. Okay. Guys, guys, guys. I, 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 have, to, I have to explain this. Uh, just for our people on, on Anchor, on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts. LPG just put on a Giants Spartan hat, and it yeah. looks phenomenal. I, I need it. I need, I'm, I'm I, gonna I, a, I, I'm gonna I have not, right now. I, I've I haven't picked them at sixteen and zero, sneaky. I actually picked them with double digit wins this year. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, it's it's I mean, funny. You. It's funny I've, to say. I've seen you before. I've you seen say? you before. I know where I've seen you now. As Where? soon as you put that helmet on, oh, you know, yeah, those, it, it, those, it, those love books that, that you see at Walmart, yes, you know, uh, with yes. the, the long blonde hair. Hey, how, how old are you, Cowboy? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm 28. Uh, yeah, you're 28, so you, you don't even know who Fabio is, right? <laughs> yeah, I know who Fabio is. I know oh, you do? Is. You do? Yeah. All right, my bad. Hey, my bad. shout out Ish's yeah, mom. Yeah. I got I got yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you something funny. That used to be I used to get that on a regular, but then Thor came out and all these oh, other yeah. and then, yeah. Yeah. And, then yeah. and then long hair was in. I was golden after that. I didn't mind it at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good. Uh, I uh, I too was a, a natural blonde, but uh yeah. I decided to dye it because uh, I, so I, 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 I I I didn't want to show you up. I, I, I didn't want to yeah, I, I I really appreciate it since since we started off this podcast with you you've made it right I, and, I, and, and 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 after this um, I'm I'm retiring uh, no I'm not I'm lying I'm having too much fun I, I got I got another question I got another question Shoot. so who is your most hated player for each team in our division bless, bless you. you not right now uh, at all time it could be now or all time it it don't matter all time wow. That's a great question. I never was asked that actually. Uh, wow, ish. That's a point for you, man. Shout out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for the for the um, wow for the Cowboys. I mean, who talked the most trash? Probably, probably well, Irvin Mike Irving. Yeah, Irvin did. Probably talked the most trash. But but I'm I'm searching for a guy that talked the most trash about our team, sneaky. Not. Not so much talk the most trash, but like I'll give you an example. Um, uh, uh, Andre Waters of the Eagles. You guys probably. Oh, I remember him. Yep. You're right. A safety. And then after him, uh, 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 Dawkins. So back to back safeties. Talk the most about the Giants. I mean, just kept, just kept riding them. And and they brought they brought the helmet and shoulder pads every freaking game. Um, as far as the Cowboys, I. I I wow, it probably would stick with Irving. Trying to think if there was a lineman or a running back or a linebacker that said anything. I'm really Blake Jarwin, 
Huh? Blake Jarwin. Yeah. He's a great tight end, too. I can't stand him. He's going to be something to deal with for a while. I mean, who do I hate with it? Never talking trash? I mean, thank God he he doesn't play anymore because I have, uh, what's his name, Witten dreams still. <laughs> I mean, Witten, Witten could sit on the bench. Well, he's, with have, the, he's with the Raiders now. He's correct. with the Raiders. Witten yeah. could sit on the bench at and, and wind up with two catches and two scores at halftime versus the Giants. He never even went out there. So I hate him. Um and the and the the the, uh, the Redskins again completely irrelevant. But but I'm you know I was I was ready when Dexter Manley was talking crap to the Giants and 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 the Hogs and stuff like that. So so I don't. There was there was also I'm trying to think because I remember Joe Morris getting into a fight with a Redskin on the field and and I hated that Redskin for because Joe Morris one of my favorite players ever. And I remember I hate you. I will always hate you. And I forgot who it was. Well, I got I got to throw this in there, and it's something that I, I just uh, I just heard about the story of how you motivated Stokely in the 2000 Super Bowl. Uh, where'd you get that story from? <laughs> oh, you know where I got the story from. <clears throat> All right, so, so when, when I when I heard this, I'm like, so it's your fault. <laughs> oh, no worries. No, I I actually might have a picture of it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I, I would, I would, I would actually break down the story, but I'd rather, I, I'd rather. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm breaking it down to you right now because okay, I don't. Okay, good. Get, yeah, I don't, I don't want to miss any detail. No, no. So, so you know, it's it's 2000 Super Bowl. I got there mad early, and I am literally in the front row in the end zone. I wasn't sitting there; I was sitting like 15 rows back. But of course, I went to the front row, and I was just talking and talking. And Stokely is having a catch with. Dilfer. Dilfer's standing at the 15, 20 yard line. He's throwing the ball to Stokely. Stokely's back is to me. He's catching the ball and he's stepping into the end zone. And I'm yelling every time, get out of the end zone. You'll never be there during the game. He's catching in, stepping in the end zone, kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And I was riding him for, I don't even, I don't can't even tell you, 20 minutes at least. You're never going to see the end zone. So you know what? Enjoy it while you can now. Anyway, fast forward to the game. First freaking touchdown, Dilfer hits Stokely, burns Seahorn, and I swear to you, I swear to you, before before that, Stokely's like, I'm going to be right here during the game. I'm like, yeah, okay, good luck with that, pal. Anyway, sure enough, Stokely scores. There's a picture that was in the paper the next day in Tampa, and Stokely is like, I, I swear to you, he scored in the same spot. That he was catching a ball and he's pointing like this, and I swear to you, he's looking for me. I swear to you. And and years later, I always wanted to ask him. And years later, he wound up with the Giants, and yep, yep. I was, I was, couldn't wait to go to a game and ask him. Like, hey, I don't know if you remember me, but remember this picture? Do you remember the jerk guy? I had a crew cut then, and I had no hair. I used to shave it myself. I'm like, do you remember this this idiot? And uh, I never got to because Stokely got hurt and got put on the IR. So I never got to see him. Oh my god! Oh that, man! When I when I heard that, I was just like, so yeah. that's that's the reason. Yeah, that uh, is the reason. Uh, hey, I don't. How do you guys <laughs> react? How do you guys react to the? That's another thing I cannot stand. If there's one thing besides haters that I can't stand, it's the jinxers. People like, oh, oh yeah, we lost because yeah. you, or we lost because you picked them sixteen and zero. We lost because you said they were going to win in the fourth quarter. We lost. Uh, he got a sack because you said that so and so hasn't had a sack in three games. Shut the hell up. That has got nothing to do with the game. <laughs> I can't stand people yeah. that believe in Jason. You Sorry. know what? I, I know. I know. I said I made it, but I haven't got that yet. I, for, surprisingly, I haven't got that yet. But. <laughs> Someone did ask me when uh, when I was at the Denver game back in 2007, and that was actually the the first first game I met you because oh, I was yeah hitting you up on Instagram. Where you sitting? Where you at? Yeah. I I think you could honestly uh, file some stalking charges on me uh, for that <laughs> hey, game. But I, I, you know what? I will I will tell you this, Sneaky, I, and I appreciate you know you staying on me like that because look we you know, we became friendly and, and yeah, you know, giant fans, any fans, cowboy, it doesn't matter. 
when you go to an away game, there's a special bond that yeah. you have with another yeah. fan that traveled to go see the team. Yeah. And, you know, they're maybe not, you know, they'll never, they might not ever come over to your house for a burger. They might not even talk on the phone, but like, yo, that's my dude from the game. We'll be there forever. So, yeah. Yeah. so there's, you know, I try and interact with as many fans as I can on the road because I believe that, that you're representing your fan base. And I never put myself above any other fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'll I'll take it. I'll, I'll take Sneaky saying, yeah, I, I I sought you out and we got to hang out. I'll take that because now we're friendly. So that's yep. cool to me. I, I don't mind that at all. And, and you know, what I what I really appreciate about you is last year when we sat and talked and um obviously, I mean, I'm I'm sitting next to or across from LPG, and the way you broke it down, you're like, look, I'm just a fan like you. And it comes full circle because I actually had a gentleman, uh, and I and I thought of you when they said this. I had a gentleman hit me up on Instagram and was like, "Hey, could you do? Because I, I I do giveaways um, on TikTok, and I don't ask anything in return from you know the fans or whatnot, or the followers I have. And I had a gentleman that said, "I don't I don't have any uh, Giants gear. I'd like to have some." Uh, and I like to have as much as you have. And I said, I said, you know, you don't. And and I, LPG, I'm sure you spent years on your collection like me. OK, I mean, I started collecting stuff when I was 18, 19 years old. And, and here I am, 25 years old. And I'm like, it doesn't matter how much fandom or how much stuff you have. The fact okay. that, you, that you're a, that you're a fan that's all that matters. And, and, and I went out and I, I actually got him a t-shirt and I sent it to him because I, I want him to have something to, you know, at least something to root his, his, his team on. So Giants. Steve, Steve, let me, let me ask you a question. Okay. One, where did you get the idea to do giveaways? Uh, you know, I just out of the blue, uh, my son, uh, actually for my son from Nick, uh, cause he did, I mean, he has an Instagram page and, not a uh, YouTube. I'm sorry. He has a YouTube channel, and he would give like ten dollar gift cards here and there. And then once I started having a big following on Instagram, I'm like, hey guys, if I get a thousand followers, this is what we're doing. If I get five thousand, this is what we're doing. If I get uh, ten thousand, like we, I had a big ten thousand follower giveaway. And uh, I mean, and for me, it's and also too, it's the reaction I get uh, from my followers when they received the the prize that they won. So, you know, I asked that because, you know, I'm big into that and I like that. OK, OK. I'm huge into that. Oh, and yeah. Been, yes. Yes, you are. And yes, I've been doing are. it forever. And and, you know, if you have the capability of sustaining it, uh -huh. which, is a, which is a very hard thing, my friend. Uh -huh. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's, it's a very hard thing. OK, like like, you know, I'll give away stuff because. Let's just let's just thank the good Lord that. I have a platform mm -hmm. that has allowed me to acquire a lot of stuff. Right. Right. And you know, like, like example, you know, I, I still don't know what to do with the 57. Cleveland. Oh, please send it. No, no. no, 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 no. And I say that because I would definitely do one, uh, you know, do a giveaway right now. Hold on. Now I, I, give, mean, I, I give away, you know, I give away hats and, Stadium yeah. blankets and this and that, but, yep. but you know, cleats mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I try and give away for 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 charity. I'll give you an example. Right. Right. I'll give you an example. So, so again, the LPG platform gave me the the chance to to become friends with Landon Collins. It gave me the chance to run that charity softball game which raised in only three years over a hundred thousand dollars for charity. And awesome. it's incredible. And, and this year, you know, I wasn't able to put the softball game on because of COVID and the charity missed out on somewhere between 35 and $45,000. Yep. So what I did is I immediately went into my basement and, and I literally just started taking stuff like, wherever I could. Wow. And I started, 
I start, you know, old jerseys and, and just started, you know, pulling them out and saying, you know, what don't I seriously need? Right. And, and wound up and wound up putting together $5,000, you know, for charity, which is a far fetched from 40. Right. Right. But, but it was nothing. And then I was going to follow it up with probably another five with the tailgate that the NFL shut down. So, you know, you, you can only do what you do. But if there's one thing I'm going to leave you with, Sneaky, mm-hmm. don't do it because you got to 10,000. Oh, right, right. No, 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 no. That's a good thing. People do mm-hmm. it all the time. Giveaways at 1,000. Giveaways at 2,000. Giveaways at 10,000. Right. Keep doing that. But do it. Do it. Just to do it, and your right. and your following will rise no matter what. Well, and that's the point. I actually do it just to do it, and I, I enjoy doing it. Um, right. And let me and let me tell you right. one of the let me tell you one of the funniest things that the requests I got, and because of the platform I have, um, I actually had um, I was giving away. I, I was I was fortunate enough to get some hats. <clears throat> some giant hats and you know, we did, we did the giveaway and I had one of my followings. They wanted me to autograph the hat, man, to me, that is, that is worth more than, than anything. And for me, and, 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 and I'm, I'm, I, and I, I look at it as some way of giving back because I do appreciate all the love that, uh, that I get, you know, I do appreciate sneaky, that. I, I sneaky. What size hat is that, bro? Uh, <laughs> kids, junior. No, what, no, no. What, what size? What size hat is that? Oh, this is a this is a extremely large. I think you might have to go a little bigger, bro. It's <laughs> no, 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 no. I think you might have to. The way you're talking, I think you might have to go a little bigger, pal. No, it's it's uh, it's bring a ble- yourself in. Bring no, real no, no, in, it's, cowboy fans. It's real them in. It's a it's a blessing. I just got to say, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Yeah, spoken like yeah. a true football player. It's a blessing. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> hey, I do have a question to ask because we're we're running uh, low on the time. No doubt. Uh, uh, Nelson Diaz asked a question about what you're feeling on coach uh, the new coach Judd. Oh, g- great question, Nelson. I mean, look, I was a, I was a Shermer fan. I was a McAdoo fan. Why? Because that's who the organization put in front of me. Thank you. Um, yep. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna root for them. Did I think McAdoo had what it what it what it took? Um, I thought he was extremely intelligent, um, but he didn't. Uh, Shermer, uh, I thought was a little bit out of his league. But you learn those things over the course of time, and I'll say the same thing for Judge. However, I was blown away by his press conference. Yep, likewise. Uh, <clears throat> I was blown away by his knowledge, uh, and if the Giants thought that he was the guy without even bringing Matt Rule in, which who my, who my first choice would have been, because Matt Rule was on the Giants staff. I'm friendly with Matt Rule, so I knew that the Giants would have called him in and, and give him a shot, and they didn't. That means Judge blew them away. Yeah. Now, look, are, are, is anybody a Yankee fan? No, no. Okay. I, I, I am. If you would be. All right, so I'm a, I'm a big Yankee fan being in here in New York, and the only way I can uh, 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 make you guys understand this was everybody knows who Don Mattingly is. Right, right. And Don Mattingly was my favorite player of all time. With Jeter, but Don Mattingly. <clears throat> it came time for the Giants, uh, the Yankees' job opening. It was Mattingly. Mattingly could have walked in and said, I'm Don Mattingly, and walked out. But Boom. Um, Joe Girardi came in with a PowerPoint and 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 these 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 statistics and blew the Yankees away. And Don Mattingly didn't get the job. And as a Yankee fan, and I'm I'm acquainting this to, to the Giants because it's like Don Mattingly's like if LT walked in the building and said, I want to be head coach, he'd have it. So 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 what I'm saying is Judge must have come in there and just been unbelievable and his press conference blew me away and then his first couple weeks or months with the Giants as far as practice is concerned I love it and if he messes up take a freaking lap yeah uh hey yeah, hey, hey. I, I gotta ask him one I gotta ask him one thing okay, that's okay. on every Go cowboy's ahead. mind every cowboy's mind you gotta you gotta answer this for me oh hell how do you feel 
about your new offensive coordinator? I absolutely love him. You could clap as much as you want. Thank you. Thank and, you. And wait, let me tell you. Did I want Jason Garrett as head coach? I did not. Mm -mm. Nope. Did I? Did I want his absolute brain as offensive coordinator? Who, by the way, already played quarterback for the Giants. I really did. And if you go back, I don't know how many months you have to go back and find my tweets. I pushed for him as OC hard. Now look. I don't give a crap about all that clapping shit. That doesn't mean anything to me. Thank you. It really, it Thank really you. doesn't mean anything to me, and I think it's been blown out of proportion. However, if I was a Cowboy fan, and and this and it, you know you were throwing interceptions and fumbles, and this guy's like, you know, I know what he's doing. We all know what he's doing. Like, don't worry about it. We'll get him. Yes, I. Enough. <laughs> Thanks. I, it is, and and don't get me wrong. The first interception of fumble the Giants have, the camera is going to be right on him, not judge. Right. And he'll clap, and all Giant fans go crazy on social media again. But but if you're asking me an honest question, I I would say I'm really looking forward to him as a, an offense coordinator. I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be awesome, and I, I think he's going to cause a lot of problems for Dallas as well. I really do. I actually, I actually agree with you. I'm one of the Cowboy fans that agrees with you on that whole statement. I yeah. think uh, I think you have a you have a brilliant offensive coordinator. Yeah, I think I really he, do. I think, I think he's brilliant. I really do. I think he's very smart. Right. And I, I just love the fact that when we win a Super Bowl with him as OC, it's going to be so much sweeter. I mean, that's that's just that's just my two cents. Well, it's by that time, finished. by that time, you would have signed 10, 15 hats. <laughs> you, already, you, you probably, you probably, your hat size will have grown to a 10 and a half. You're, I'm sure you'll be just fine, Sneaky. Only, only if it's on request. It'll be an honor, too. Correct. It'll, it'll <laughs> hey, Joe. Oh, my God, man. Uh, it just feels like we've only been talking to you for five minutes. I swear to God. I swear to God. Sure, any, any, anytime you guys want. It's a lot of fun. I'll come on as soon as the Giants beat the Cowboys. Well, we'll come on again. I do. I, I do have one question. Um, I do. Um, I have one one final question. All right. Uh, what is your expectations for the 2020 New York Football Giants? Uh, I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. Uh, I really do. Um, un unfortunately, I think they're going to have to outscore their opponents. Um, I don't think it's going to be a defensive battle. Uh, we're a year or two away from that. Uh, I do expect the Giants to surprise. I do expect, expect Joe Judge to win coach of the year. I do expect the Giants to be double-digit wins. I think they're going to surprise a ton of people. I think they're going to win the East. They're not going to back in. I think they're going to win it outright. My man! Okay. I can't I can't wait till we get McKinney back on the field too. I can't wait till we talk after the first game. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, Joe. Uh, man, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joe. Uh, I, I do have one another final. This is oh, final another question. final question. Uh, Bring it. <laughs> final question A. No, I'm kidding. Do you are you are you familiar with my outro? No, but if it's anything like your intro, it's probably a lot of yelling and it's whatever. Somewhat, somewhat. And I, I was just, I was just curious if you could say it one time. And and basically, it's let's go Giants, and then you go ow. But oh, but you got good. more emphasis. You got to have more emphasis on that. Oh oh, like I was sitting in the front row type shit. Yes sir. Yes. Like yes. I was yes, like, sir. I was, like I was talking to some of the players type shit. Yes yeah. sir. Yeah. Like yes, like sir. I like I was in de like I was at Texas Stadium like AT and T like that. Shout, type out, shout out. Right let's go Giants baby. Oh, there it is. I appreciate that. Oh, man. Yo, anytime you want, I'm in, bro. I'm in. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you could stick around for just a few seconds, and then we're heading out. And then, okay, that too. And, Ish, you got anything? Ish? He's muted. He's Here he is. There he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. No, I just know, want to why, give a why, shout out. Why, why did you? Why did you know? Why did you disappear? Why? Why couldn't you just be on the whole time? He's he's the, he's the uh, I'm the producer. I, I, so I you, take so care you of just, stuff. So you got to disappear. Yeah, yeah. You people don't, don't oh, like okay. my face. Yeah. Yeah, All right, no doubt. Really like I got you. I, I, your face is fine. Your hat is shitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. I just want to give a shout out, man. I really appreciate you coming on. Um, 
I kind of like seeing different uh, perspectives of how fans see their teams. And, you know, I always see Cowboys fans as being right, but it's, it feels good hearing other teams, you know, how they feel about us. So I, I mean, look, it. if, it, if it's anything like, you know, talking to your guy up there where, you know, we, we say the same shit, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> right, 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 you know, right. as, as you guys do, we do. It's just the way, it's the way your fan, ber- fan base really should work. And if it doesn't work like that, then they're just, they're just haters. It's like, uh, mm-hmm. I'll leave you with this. One of the things I – just drives me insane is after and it'll happen after the first game after the first loss might not be the first game but after the first loss you'll get a a a percentage of the fan base that will put that bag over their head and put that picture on their instagram or whatever and i only Mm -hmm. i say this and i say this every year if you're going to put a bag over your head just please make it plastic Thank you. I like that. Yes, sir. I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm with you there, bro. I, I am absolutely. But we'll just we'll just make it standard for cowboy fans. Just don't wait. Just put the bag on now. And yeah, uh, no, just... man, I'm not. I'm not. Talk, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about our team. I'm talking about that team right now. Oh, they know I love them. They know I love them. Uh, Claire, you got anything, ma'am? No, I, w- I will say, LPG, thanks again, man, uh, for, for having us on, you having us having you on the show and, and for your time, man. I mean, I, you, you sound like a busy guy, uh, probably something going on all the time, and, and for taking time out to, to hang out with us for about an hour. That was awesome, man, I, and I really do appreciate it. And, I, and, I, and thanks I, for the love, man. I really appreciate it. I, uh, I, I, I am busy. I have just taken a, a new position. I am now the, uh, I guess, the CEO or the, or the coordinator of uh, sneaky G Man fantasy. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, uh, hey, the the uh, fantasy fan club. So if you I'm, need anything signed or you need anything delivered, send me your name and address. I'm, I'm, get dub- it out. I'm doubling. Hold on, I'm hold on, salary right Hold now. on, sneaky. Why don't you tell LPG who you took as one of your receivers yesterday in our draft? No, I don't want to know. Let him know who you know. took. Sneaky. Look Let him know. Sneaky, it's okay, bro. <laughs> It's okay. That's why I don't play fantasy, man. It rhymes with Bam. Your last name rhymes with Bam, okay? I don't want to. I don't know. (laughs) It's okay. It's okay. Sneaky, I know why you took him, bro. Because you have the curse. He'll be hurt the first game. I love it. Thank you. He's going to. Yeah, yeah, thank you. He'll be Uh, hurt the first game. So, uh, (laughs) actually, I was. I'm not even going to defend it. Yes, I took CD Lamb. So what? Who cares? I took him. I I took him. I, I, I care. I have zero uh, draft uh, wow. for my team, by the way. Just letting you know. But, but I did take Shepard, though. I still have Shepard. Uh, who are you starting? Uh, Shepard. What? Uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. You took... yeah, yeah. What I'm do you mean? Sh- what? You, make it, you make it sound like that's a, that might be a hard question now. Oh, no. That's <laughs> an easy question. I, I, <laughs> I needed a receiver. I needed a receiver. Oh, and he that, was the only one. Oh, my God. Wow. Anyway, hey, uh. Uh, LPG, yeah, you know, uh, you know, I got number left for you, brother. Thank you so much uh, for your time, and uh, I- I'm really glad that we were able to get you on. And again, it only seemed like five minutes. Everybody that's listening, uh, <laughs> please, please hear us on. We're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, and some other podcasts that I never heard of. Um, Anchor, Brinker. Uh, I want to uh, I also want to give out uh, give a shout out to um, Dress Comfy, who is going to be pushing out. Uh, well, who already has Cleary OG merch pushed out. And uh, who's I'm going to send one. I'm going to send one to LPG, by the way. Just oh, please. I want everybody signs it first. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, first. Deal. 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 Yes, and, absolutely. And um, uh, sneakers LPG, will be in the middle. Uh, <laughs> she she's actually pushing out some sneaky G merch here in about a week. And you already got one on the way. Uh, I'll even sign it for you. It'll be an honor. <laughs> oh, but but you got to put. Yeah, I was gonna say you got to put it right there. <laughs> My man. Hey, everybody that's listening. Thank you so much for the love and support. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, I am gonna get a smaller hat than this, um, but uh, I do wanna. I just wanna give everybody love for showing us love and support. We love it. Uh, Dress comfy. You are freaking awesome. And uh, finally, I'm going to, and don't you guys do it either. Don't you interrupt. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mic. Don't do it this time. Because this time, this this is going to be an honor of LPG. Ladies and gentlemen, Cowboys. let's go Giants. Oh! Spin it. I'm going to keep it 100 here, yeah, man. Y'all 
ain't even on my fucking level, to be honest. Some of y'all dancing with the devil, to be honest. Y'all